You will never buy peanut butter again after this simple recipe of how to make peanut butter guys this is my first time making this peanut butter i encountered uh some hurdles but we're gonna solve them in this video today i followed a recipe on youtube and i made this peanut butter the best thing is i know the peanut butter has no preservative has so and it's cheaper and it's so so tasty but watch this video if you like this kind of videos don't forget to hit a thumbs up let's start with going to the market to find the good grade peanuts and you can see i'm in my neighborhood you can go anywhere in kenya like there are cereal shops where you in your neighborhood so you get the good peanut butter so my sister advised me to get this kind of peanut of course you know kemundo i had to buy a one kg of peanuts because yeah, I love peanut guys, and it was 200 Kenyan shillings, that's like two dollars. Peanuts, 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 then we are going to clean it like several times i think i have about i don't know like four cups no half a half a kilo of peanuts yeah so we're going to wash them like i wash them like three times but i don't need to show you that because it will be make the video long and then you're going to complain so after washing them and rinsing them thoroughly so when they're clean i like putting salt three quarters of salt three quarter cup of salt and just massage them because when you put them and they are wet it absorbs the peanuts absorbs the salt much better but there is another idea which i google i i check the youtube recipe but you can do it actually you just uh, dilute uh, water a uh, cup of water with salt three quarters of salt and then you soak the the beans for like maybe 30 minutes so that they absorb that one that one would have been a much better idea but this one also worked but you will see i made some messes here and there because i tried to follow different videos because i encountered some hiccups guys and i'm gonna be true and show you all of them so after that you spread them on your baking sheet if you have a foil please use it i did not have a foil and every time i go to the supermarket i forget to purchase one so do that to avoid messy cleanup like i did but it still works if you don't have like me you can still do this so on to the oven we go my oven was preheating at 180 degrees for like 10 minutes or so i'm going to suck the peanuts inside the oven and let it bake for roast yeah I'll make it roast for 15 minutes and then we're going to come back i show you how i swish it and then another 15 minutes and then it will be done okay don't worry i'm gonna be back and show you don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you like this kind of videos me trying out recipes youtube recipes online hmm? hit that thumbs up our first 15 minutes are up and our peanuts are coming well well if you feel like uh the heat is too much on your oven you can reduce it to 160 degrees but i kept 180 degrees so i'm switching things up i'm turning them over so that it, it cooks well it's all over cooked so that's what i'm doing you can see those are salt deposits but guys don't worry don't worry it's gonna go well actually 
I just wanted to eat this as it is. <laughs> okay, we're going to. So in they go for another 15 minutes and then they're going to be ready. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Please guys help me attain that on YouTube. And we're going, coming back when they're done. Guys, our peanuts are done. Oh my God, they are so delicious. And how you know they are done is when the skin crackles, you can hear the crackle. Can you hear the crackle? That means they are well done to perfection. You can see the color, it's good. It's gushy. So I'm gonna transfer the peanuts on a kitchen towel, a clean kitchen towel. Guys, do not laugh at me. I'm just using my clean apron towel because it's the bigger one. My kitchen towels are so small. Anyway, back, it does the job still. So we're going to rub. If you have a kitchen towel that is big enough, use it. So we're going to rub these peanuts together like so. Just see what I'm doing. Do it roughly because I try to do it like a slay queen. And I'll show you what happened. Like, I don't know if it's me or these YouTube recipes don't show you all the hard stuff. But I'm going to be showing you. I rubbed it. I rubbed it. Guys, I rubbed this thing and see how they are doing to me. I had to rewind the YouTube video I was, check I was watching to see how they did it. But my skins are still there, guys. I've been doing this for hours, guys. It's not everyone on YouTube of such. I don't know how they are doing it. I think I'm gonna be mad if it's not. <laughs> mm, at least, at least me toka toka. So I'm gonna be separating this to this. When I watch my video. <laughs> Let me draw out the inner part. Oh, oh! Let's get a little bit of wood. Hmm. Hmm. Obviously, if you have a strainer, or what do they call it, you can separate it with that. Okay. Well, guys, to me, this part has been exhausting. Tell me, uh, advise me, well, how do you separate this jewel? It has taken me no, 40 minutes. I'm not even lying, guys. This is what's the hardest part. But, so, and this is what I've separated. This is my jewels. This is my toka toka. I think this is okay, but at least. This is why I separate it because I don't want it to be bitter. You know, yep. It is not tacky. You can't, you can't go this far. La fukose. No, no. La fukose koni. See you see unguana. Jo, who are you unguana? So, eh, these recipes. Do not knock off a video. Do not knock You see these recipes that are fat fast. Just editing out. And me, I'm gonna edit out. And me is a cooler. Eh, me damn, so perfect, perfect. Now, come on, I'm not even gonna go. So I'm happy about that. And glass jar container that I recycled. Guys, I don't think my blender is made for 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 hard grinding hard stuff guys so don't be like me or i go follow this recipe online and my, i don't have a powerful blender like this youtubers so guys you can see my struggle here so i'm just gonna keep it real i could have edited this part out but i will show you how to fix this because you can still make peanut butter if your blender is not strong enough so watch till the and I am showing you. I just needed to show you this part because I rewinded, rewinded to see how they, they are doing on this recipe. And these guys are not even putting oil or milk. 
so at this stage it's giving me stress you can see so I'm just gonna add little by little water you can add milk but I'm going to add a little bit of water to help because my blender is not fast enough I'm experiencing some technicalities so I'm gonna try use this other grinder let me tell you mine <laughs> I struggle. I'm only showing you this part because I, I just want to be real and authentic. It was a struggle and I don't think I, I'll need a powerful blender. Let me just be honest. But we're going to fix it because I already grinded it. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. What till the end? I've been doing this for like 10 or so minutes. I think this is enough. It's goody. Let me try and make it on the so the key it's coming along but it takes time just be patient and the key is uh blend immediately after roasting them so i guess yeah for me actually i'm not gonna lie i've added water and yeah just have a powerful blender more powerful than mine so i blended so much because i want to take it to my sister i'm not so guys this is my peanut butter to be patient with it now eco motor because of the motor you can see the smoke yeah day it's expensive so yeah i'm gonna make my peanut sandwich bread right now this was a very special meal that more like a snack or a breakfast you can say that it brings me so much feels and it has a special it will it has a special place in my memory. My mom used to make these snacks for us, this sandwich like snack with peanut butter and jelly. And I will feel like I'm so rich, guys. Even up to now, when I eat peanut butter and jelly, I feel so rich, guys. So if you like this kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna be showing. I've shown you how I made this peanut butter, but update. I had to come and put my siwa and try my sister's blender. <laughs> milk one cup of milk for it to be small small see guys you really need to put milk or water but i suggest milk for it to be smooth <laughs> yeah it is looks good Mmm, it's peanut butter.